What's up, people? It's Repug and that German guy back again, pulling the trigger on another Outlaws of the Old West adventure. <laughs> almost trying to say too much there, huh? <laughs> yeah, almost trying to say too much. Yeah, yeah, got a little tongue tied. It happens, so, happens. as you guys can see, the town is expanding. <clears throat> people have been doing a lot of stuff, so we figured mm -hmm. today would be a great day to show off the different building tiers of the game. Yeah. German, as you can see, has been hard at work over in his little corner of the town. You yeah. want to show off your stuff? Yeah, for sure. So let's uh, let's check that, out the stables since they're right in front of us. Well, your that's horse my is being used for demonstration. So boom, there we go. You, I mean, if you really want to, I guess you could try squeezing two horses in there. But uh, yeah, it was kind of difficult to figure out stables what I want to do because it, you have to use the foundations to put up walls uh, if you want to use actual walls. So it's a little it bit weird, but- really cool. Yeah, I did as much as I could. Uh, there's a saddle bench and a horse to anvil in here. And I got mm -hmm. some decorative rope piles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the plank tier. And uh, yeah, it, it fit perfectly. It has a very barn look. If we could paint this red, it would be a barn. Yeah. Like. <laughs> And for the plank tee, you're going to want this hammer I got in my hand mm -hmm. right here for it. Yep. And it's crafted in your things. woodworking bench, right? Correct. Yeah, woodworking. Uh-huh. And planks cost uh, plank and iron ingots, right? Mm-hmm. Or iron bars, I should say, is what they're called in this. Yeah, the iron bars. Dude, mm -hmm. it looks really cool, man. And you also, yeah. I like how you incorporated the actual, like, yeah. you know, so I used to the... make, like, a palisade. Ow, gate in the face. Thank <laughs> you. Sorry. Yeah, this is just kind of like a holding pen, so, you know, the stables are full, but you need your horse to kind of sit somewhere where there's some food and water. Well, okay, uh, mm -hmm. water. Um, <laughs> the food's empty. <laughs> the food's gone bad. But <clears throat> there's that, and then there's some we extra We don't feed your horse, we just give him front. water. Yeah, <laughs> bring your own food. But I figured I'd use that, and then we use the uh, four pieces for the whole animal pens over here, and I don't know if you guys These... remember, we only had one pen Yeah, before. they need... The one thing I will say, they need to work on the snapping points for the gates yeah. on the fort pieces. Yeah, it's they're really messed up. But we got our chicken chickens. coops down here, and the chickens really like going around the. Um, wow! Stop! Stop murdering the chickens! Uh, <laughs> they like to go around the food trough for some reason. No, don't do that. They don't come back. I have to build new things. I just want some meat. Wow, that's not what they're for. That's what the pigs are for. You got two chickens. And then we got a sheep pen over here, and oh, there's the other one. There's two sheep. Let's see, can we shear them now? They uh, it does give you the option to shear, but these ones do not have enough on the resource bar. So you hold E on them, and then it says shear. So that is one bug they already fixed, which okay. is really cool. So yeah, okay, can't shear them yet. Their resource doesn't seem to be going up. I've noticed when you pull them in here, it usually takes about half of their thirst, and then they lay down and they drink, and then the resource starts to go up on them, but these guys haven't done that yet. Also, another thing, whatever seemed to be happening to horses to where they, they uh, dehydrated like overnight is happening to sheep as well, or they're despawning or something. So I, I don't know if there's a dev that's around, maybe that's something you might want to look into. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I watched them. They seriously But this is what just Repug like... was talking about with the clipping, by the way. Um, you can only have one side connect evenly, and then the other one goes halfway between a block, which is weird. Yeah, unless you go diagonal, and then yeah. you'll still have a small gap. Yeah. And then like, it exactly. is So it's either a gap or clipping through the gate. So they need to fix that. And that's because the gate isn't as wide as two pieces. It's like one and three quarters or something so yeah like maybe it's if not they just made the gate proportionate to it that would fix it but anyways then we got the piggies in here and if you, if you need some meat i guess you could kill this stuck little porker over here <laughs> can only be slaughtered for resources wow it, it, actually they added if you hold an e or hold e on it yeah it'll say gather resources but then tells you you got to do this to them yep could only be slow. They give a good amount of meat, too. They do, they do, they do. And they come back, but the, the other thing that's kind of weird about the pig house is once you've killed all four, it spawns. It disappears, or if you leave them in here for a while, it just disappears with the pigs. So, I, 
I, I feel like it would make more sense like the cow hut where the pig hut stays around and then spawns more pigs and you can slaughter them over time. Yeah, because it's expensive <clears throat> to keep remaking the pig hut. Yeah, it, it's it's quite a bit. So I, it's and weird that it's, it just falls apart. I, it's also kind of a pain to like reposition it every time. Yeah, as you can see, it's not really fitting too well in there. And then the cowies over here should be working fine. Yeah, there's Let's resources see, still have, aren't filling up. Are they not? No, not oh, yet. you're right. No. Yeah. I can't. But it does give you the milk option now, so all you need is a bucket in your hand, and you can milk them. Oh, I just had a bad lag spike. Yeah, okay. Must have... Oh, wait. It says must have an empty bucket. Can I... Is there a way to dump a bucket? Uh, See, that's my problem. My bucket is always got water in it, even if I do the little, like, splashy splash. Yeah. Look, that's a gun, not a bucket. <clears throat> that's still a gun. Oh, yeah, you can't pour the bucket out anymore. It's just, like, infinitely pouring. Okay, yep. well, that's another weird thing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Bucket party! <laughs> I know, right? All right, well, um, so much for that. Uh, but, yes, once the resource bar is at least half full, you can get some milk from them. So, yeah, I'm not sure you want... What are the cows? <laughs> you you go, thirsty? Guys. It's a hot day. <laughs> not thirsty anymore. Nope. Well, anyways, now that we've bathed the cows, uh, <laughs> do you want to go take a look at my house? Yeah, let's take a look at it, man. Then we'll right. make so the I'm, walk over to mine. If you guys haven't noticed, the stable's where my house used to be. I moved up the hill. You got a nice little balcony to look down onto the township. It's, it's, it's nice. Nice little place up here. Plus, I got all these pretty trees. Nice, convenient wood source. It's looking so, nice, man. Oh, they load in. Yeah, they load in. So up front, I got a little place for guest horses. And uh, people can park the horses out here. Or just a quick stop for me. It's a full trough and water for my guests. We got our fancy mailbox outside. And this is the brick tier. Uh, these are the brick tier doors. I I don't like the brick tier door very much. But it's yeah. the best looking door for this anyways. Oh, also windows open now, which is cool. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, no. I didn't. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, ever since they fixed the windows, you can open them. Um, so they're going to first and they're students. totally not like super crashy anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can actually see through them. It's no longer mm -hmm. just a reflection. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one weird thing though. You can't place fireplaces or bookshelves right up against the brick tier for some reason. It I acts noticed like that. it's twice as thick, and it looks awful. Uh, it's killing. Nope, I it's guarantee killing you. My OCD. <laughs> I guarantee you what it is. is if the, you. If you yep. place it on the other side, it would go it right would up against fine. it. Yeah, it's it's the outcropping. Yeah, it's the decorative molding on top that is pushing it away, and that makes yeah, me I noticed sad. that with the uh, refined wood tiers. Yeah, because look happens. here, if you look at the clock, the clock's floating on the. I put it partially on there, and it's mm -hmm. hanging off of it. So they, I they think gave all they have to do to is just yeah, not give it a collision, and it would look a lot better. I think. Because, uh, I mean, it doesn't really need a collision. I mean, as long as you can't go through the wall, that's all that really matters. So the rest of it should just be decorative. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I got my little kitchen in here. Got a proper ice box. That all my ice went bad. I think the timing on ice is kind of inconvenient, too. I think it melts yeah, way well, too Yeah, well, and not to mention, last patch, they just reduced it, so ice goes bad just as fast. Yeah. I noticed by the time we came back with ice, like, it was already half yeah, gone. Yeah, it's way too low. There's no point in even bothering with it. You might as well just let your food spoil. Uh, but this is kind of like my inner working area. We've got kind of like our clean benches. So we've got, you know, the gun crafting. We've got the, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, chemistry bench and explosives. I got my distillery over here. And then the sewing and, like, material stuff. Mm -hmm. Put little chairs in front because it looks nice. And then this is kind of like an emergency gun cabinet where my, like, you know, the free guns you get off of bandits are. And then That's I actually good, used uh, this door. With the clear one, because I like it quite a bit. It looks nice. That's mm -hmm. from the plank tier. And then... <clears throat> no, sorry. It's the refined wood tier. Sorry. And then this yeah. is my loud workstation area. So I can actually close out the door and let the saw table or the loudy, <laughs> loud, loud grinder just kind of do their mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, I, I kind of... I wanted to do something different. I thought this was a neat now, little... Have like, you tried the... To... I haven't oh, fixed it yet. No. Okay, yeah. They added the new roof piece into where you have the triangles now. The problem with why this was weird is you can't put roof pieces where there's also a wall. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. that. Yeah, so they also need to make roofs be able to clip to an existing wall next to it if you're having a building situation oh like gosh. that. Are you pulling out a sword, or is it just constantly giving me the, like, sword sound? You're pulling your sword in and out constantly. Put the sword away. There you go. <laughs> but up here, I got, like, my little poker corner. Mm -hmm. um, also, got, oh, what I would love is if there was an option that I could click on this and make another fireplace right here. Like, even if it said required resources or something, it'd be cool to have a second fireplace on the next story with the same chimney. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I agree. That would be cool. Or if you could just make another fireplace and it would clip to it or something, that that would be really neat. Yeah, it makes it really hard to, to have a fireplace on their bottom floor if you have multiple floors because then the chimney goes through it and yeah, it just looks weird. you can't really cover it up. <laughs> but I also use those same uh, refined doors here because I, I, I think it looks nice. So we got a nice little balcony. And when these trees mm -hmm. are cut, you can see the town quite beautifully. You got the river and our mines and everything. It's quite a nice little place. Very nice. Very and we nice. got uh, my personal room over here. We got like, a, a nice job, man. I got it looks a desk. Good. It's it's waiting for when my gaming laptop comes in. Yeah, <laughs> in about two hundred years. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then we got a guest room over here with a bunk bed, so we can have two guests stay over here. And then my storage okay. is in the attic. So I got my safes lined up, which keep changing from being huge or small, which is why there's weird gaps between yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> I got one that's small and one that's large yeah. now, and I don't know why it happened. And then I just got some large boxes. If I just have junk, I kind of want to dump in them. Plus, it looks kind of cool. But yeah, that's what I did for the attic. Looks very nice, man. You did a good job. Well, thank you, sir. Do you want to go check out, I guess, uh... You went ahead and built out of what tier was it? I did the refined tier. You can kind of see it off in the distance. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's my general store, restaurant, slash schoolhouse. <laughs> schoolhouse, all right. Nice. It just kind of, you know, the design I went with, I saw a picture of an old schoolhouse and uh -huh. kind of went with that look and kind of built on it, you know? Nice. And Tron built out of the uh, brick as well. That's his house right there. He upgraded quite nicely as well. Like his wagon yeah, and decoration. And Halo so on the right. Oh, he I'm did a freezing. nice job. Yeah. Yeah. It freeze the load in. Load it's in. the bank. It, it's the, it? the bank, the man. Bank Every time I pass by the bank. Yeah. Something up And it could that. also be that there's a light in the um, gold exchange. I noticed that it gets a little <laughs> laggy when you yeah. get near it, too. Yeah. Lighting's still quite laggy. I like your little dock over here, man. Yeah, it's my little fit private fishing pond. Nice. I get some, you know, catfish out of it. Maybe some trout. That's cool. So, coming along the back, we got my little chicken coop for eggs for people who want to get omelets, you know? Nice. Which, it's actually got, like, a bunch of eggs in there. Oh, my God. Yeah. It seems your chickens may have ran away, though. Yeah, they're out there somewhere in the wandering around they're free range chickens Ooh, i like your like production um like back deck this yeah is cool i put the the loud stuff outside you know and uh, stuff mm -hmm. i felt that you know would be better outside yeah yeah so, like anything there, producing smoke <laughs> yeah like so there's our wagons from the previous episode in mind that some of them are floating for some unknown reason don't now, know for why me, none of them are floating except for the water wagon they're Two, three of the four are floating for me. It's oh, really no. weird. Okay, this one's slightly floating. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> so here's my mailbox. Now, see on the right side, you come in here, mm -hmm. and this is where you can get your like, you know, order your supplies and stuff. Because right. the come through the door, and it gets into the little crafting area. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So here's your different. <laughs> yeah. It looks like they're yep. two different types. That's funny. That's exactly I know, the right? same normal safe. That's great. And then see over here, this is where you can order your, you know, booze and have some beer and whiskey. Ooh, okay. You've got a little waiting cafeteria or cafe out there and, you know, with your tables and chairs. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Nice, dude. Now, see, this is one thing I wish they could do, right? So, like, you have this wall. It's a weird thing. You have, like, multiple variations of walls, right? For the right. refined woodworking tier. And so, like, the. Some of them have the there's outer the paper, and then there's the panel. Yeah, and I wish they had like a window that w had just Panels. the panel on it. Yeah, and then so the you door, didn't have the, the outer doors don't have the wallpaper. Yeah, it's weird. I eh. 
Yeah, so, like, you know, it gets a bit difficult on that. But then if you head upstairs, I haven't done anything with this room yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll think of something. Up here is the restaurant slash poker room. Nice. Got your nice little fire over there. Mm -hmm. And you come through here and, you know, see it's a cooking area that I need to still expand on. But, nice, you know, it's nice. looking good. You just got to get some cabinets and stuff down. You got the essentials. Mm-hmm. And then we got to go back downstairs because I'm weird and have it set up differently. Mm-hmm. And you go through this door. Oh, I went through the wrong door. Whew. And this will take you up to the school bell. Ah. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, you got to go right here. It got weird with the uh, <laughs> yeah, way see, the ceilings that, that, go. Well, that's another thing of where I said you can't put a wall if there's well, the... Um, the sloped roofs, yeah. The sloped roof, or you can't put a sloped roof if there's a wall. And see, up here, you can oh, see you out got, the window. Oh, you got a bell up here. You actually yeah. do, and then there's a, oh, a telescope and stuff, dude. This is cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do these windows open? No, they don't. I wish they did. You reach for them, but they don't do nothing. Yeah, and then the bell sometimes rings, sometimes doesn't ring. Yeah, no. Nah. But the telescope, that. if you hit E on it, you actually look through it. It's pretty cool. Oh, do you? I've never tried that before. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, see, and it gives you an animation to actually, like, you know. Uh oh, how like, do I get it, off of it? it you just hit E. See, like, I don't, I don't know if you saw me I, uh, when I did it. I did it really let fast. me off. But you're not off of it? No. You no. backed away from it on my screen. Oh, no, you're doing the floating. Oh, I got no. my hands out to the side. All right. Okay, you're we'll, we'll be right me. back. You might have to restart. I'm stuff back, you know, had to maybe break a couple of roofs to get it. Because yeah. somehow he ended up on the roof. Yep. Don't know how that is. Probably my but, least favorite bug. <laughs> yeah, this right here is going to be the start of our horse racing track. Nice. So, as you can see right now, it's mainly just the walls. And this is, like, honestly, the closest I can get the gates to connecting is by sliding out. And there's that slight gap I was talking about. Well, but it does connect what? on one side. I think side. if we do any mouse racing, the mice might escape through the crack, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This, right, doesn't, right? this isn't up to code. But... <laughs> You know, it, it's just walls right now, but the grand scale of my idea is I think we're going to go along the concept of, like, you know, like an actual rodeo ring. Nice. Uh, we'll put stadium seating on the outside, and this is the inner working where we'll have the actual horse racing. Possibly nice. even a, if we could figure out how to trick a buffalo into here, maybe a buffalo fight. <laughs> I like the idea of that, man. You know, like, like buffalo and swords or something like that, you know? No guns. Why is my mount gaining levels? I'm scared. Because <laughs> uh, your mount's special? I guess so. But it's a good size. I think it'll be fun, you know, mm -hmm. if we get some people in yeah, there and actually have a ring. To, and... I can't wait to see the, like, stadium stair steps and stuff. That's going to be cool. Yeah, right along here is going to be the stadium seating for people to see. Nice. And we'll have to think of some prizes for the winners. We'll get the whole, you know, monkey outlaw group over here to try out for it. Nice. That's awesome, dude. I'm excited. Well, it looks like we got some plans. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe hosting a fishing contest with everyone, too, so we'll just have to see. Nice. But, well, you know before that, dude, we're going to have to show people how to fish. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I mm -hmm. think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed all our builds we've done. We've definitely put a little bit of love into them, and it's definitely been fun. So. Oh, for sure, man. Uh, for sure. It's uh, that German guy, hang on. Repug hitting the pause button on this adventure till next time. See ya.